Good morning, I'm Chris Beecham and these are your morning market headlines for Tuesday the 26th of June. We have a calm start in London this morning with Footsie up around 10 points at 54.63, although no one is exactly rushing to buy the market at present given the widespread crisis in the Eurozone. And a sign of how widespread that crisis is was seen last night when Cyprus became the fifth country to ask formally for a bailout from the Eurozone. Now the sums involved aren't particularly large when you consider the sizes required for, say, Spain, but nonetheless it's a sign of how widespread this crisis is and how it refuses to go away. Um, last night Moody's was also busy, it downgraded 28 Spanish Spanish banks citing the continuing deterioration of the Spanish government's credit position. Um, by the time you see this, we'll have had results from the Spanish and Italian bond auctions this morning. Spain is auctioning mostly a short-term bills, while Italy auctions a mix of longer-term and short-term bonds this morning. And these will be a key gauge of investor sentiment for the summit later this week. Now, in corporate news, um, there's harder times ahead for Carpet Right and Stagecoach. Both of those have failed to live up to expectations in terms of profit, although Petrofac, the oil services company, says it is on track for a good full-year performance. Now, in economic data this afternoon, we have the U.S. Case-Shiller Home Price Index this afternoon, U.S. Consumer Confidence, and the Richmond Fed Manufacturing Index. And we expect the S&P 500 to start up around four points at 13.17. That's it for me. You can find all this and more on our Insight platform.